The Bajau live on the waters of the Gulf of Tomini of the island of Sulawesi. These nomads have lived on the sea for centuries. They live on these small boats called lepers. They're born on them, they grow up on them, they marry and have children on them, and they die on them. Their relationship to the sea is so close that they're unhappy to step on land, where they really do feel like fish out of water. If they leave the leper, it's only to visit the underwater depths. They can dive to a depth of up to 50 feet and stay underwater for a full five minutes. And they always bring home a souvenir after an underwater excursion. We still don't know how the Bajau came to live here, or how they came to this way of life. Some anthropologists say that they fled from inter-tribal violence in Malaysia, but they believe otherwise. They say that they went to sea in search of their lost princess. It seems that a storm took her by surprise while she was bathing and dragged her to sea as far as Sulawesi. The Bajau came after her, and when they found her, they decided to stay. They rarely venture far from shore, though. They stay close by, fishing in the coral reefs. What more could anyone ask? In the evening, the Bajau bring their boats close to the mangrove swamp for protection. They meet all their needs on these houseboats made of api wood, but there is so little room to move that older people's legs actually atrophy. Even so, up to five people can live on the boats, which have bedrooms, pantries, kitchens and living rooms. 